when I was a child, uh, really around the first grade, so I was about five, six years old, I had this reoccurring thought that came into my mind. God made a mistake, I'm a girl. So my body was telling me I was a boy. My thought was telling me that I was a girl. In the sixth grade, I was molested. That led me to hate my penis. When I started going to therapy, and I wasn't finding any help for my problems. I was in such a low place that often I would sit on the floor and hold a pillow to my chest and just cry. I was a student at LSU and I was studying to be an engineer and I was going to the school library. I knew how to do research. So I started researching what transgenderism was. DSM-3 was out. That was the most current uh, book for psychological disorders, and transgenderism was identified in that book as a psychological disorder. I had a disorder. All of the books, all of the journal articles that I found were telling me that I had a birth defect and that the leading theory was that in uterine, my brain was washed with the wrong hormone. And that's why I had a woman's brain and not a man's brain. And that in order for me to find happiness, peace between my mind and my body, I had to change my body. So I went to my therapist and I told her that I want to transition. She shared with me that she knew I was gonna to come to this point one day. She gave me a hug and she said, we'll walk this together. She gave me a note to go see a doctor to start me on testosterone blockers and on estrogen and progesterone. Well, I was, I was really ecstatic. I was really happy at that point because I was on the road to transitioning. My first surgery, I had a penal inversion. I had um, a brow shave and I had an Adam's apple shave. So I had a lot done that very first surgery. Awful, don't do it. Uh, don't do it. Another surgery was rhinoplasty. If my face looked more feminine, I would pass. And so I had uh, rhinoplasty to create a more uh, narrow, more feminine nose. No matter how many surgeries I had, I couldn't fool myself. Every time I would look into the mirror, I would still see a man staring back at me. And I made a decision to turn back, um, to go back to being male because I'd really seriously, at that point, I had more problems then than I had at the beginning of the transition. When I was little, I had a lot of difficulty. I wasn't athletic, so usually during PE or gameplay, I was always chosen last. I had a speech impediment. So I tried to talk softly, and uh, I, I, I really tried to blend into the background. My diving coach fondled me, played with me. Um, he did it on a number of occasions. I didn't know where I belonged, and he gave me attention. That attention, specific attention when he played with me, I did not like, and it magnified, uh, intensified, reinforced the thought in my mind that I was a girl. My own personal struggles as a little boy encouraged that thought that I was a girl. In hindsight, I sure wish people would have asked me some questions and given me some help to better understand what was going on in my mind. Everything that I read that convinced me to go down that road was wrong. I had some deeper issues. I had some other problems that were not addressed in the therapy. And uh, I didn't learn that until after I turned around and started changing back to being a male. Then I was able to overcome my mental struggles. I should not have gone down that road because I could have overcome my mental struggles without all those surgeries and all that mess. Mm -hmm.